Hey what is going on everyone this is Wicked and tonight I will make a tutorial of people have been asking me to do because I have to agree it's somehow complicated to get it done right. I'm talking about the most advanced and comprehensive sound system ever made for Android. I'm talking about a Rise Magnum Opus. Before we get cracking I have to tell you a couple of features and prerequisites for this astonishing sound mode to work. First of all a Rise stands for Auditory Research in Sound Enhancement. This sound patch contains various very popular sound modules starting from Viper for Arise, going through Dolby Digital Plus, Dolby Atmos, AM3D, Zyrene, Sony Xperia Music, Arcamis, iSound and so on and so forth. Today I will only install Viper for Arise and Dolby Atmos module. What happens if you want to install different ones? Maybe all of them or specific ones? We'll get to that in a minute. What are the prerequisites for this amazing sound mod to work? Well, first of all you'll need TWRP. If you don't know what TWRP is or how to install it on your Galaxy S8 or S8 Plus, check the video in the card section. The second thing you'll need to have is Root. Whether it is SuperSU or Magisk, I'll show you how to install this mod on both of them. I posted the XDA thread of Arise in description. You may want to throw an eye on it before adventuring into all the sound settings. Why is it so difficult to install? Well. To be honest, it is not. There are some steps you'll need to follow carefully in order to make things right. So without further ado, let's get into the installation procedure. Before that, open up your file manager and browse to your internal storage. If you have a file called arise underline customize.prop, I want you to delete it for now. If you don't, then it's okay. Be aware of what I'm going to tell you right now. Arise does not provide any uninstalling zip to reverse sound back to stock. The easiest way to uninstall it is by dirty flashing your custom ROM over your settings so that the sound files will get back to normal. If you had tried and unsuccessfully installed Arise or any other sound modules before, dirty flash your ROM with stock settings before attempting to follow this tutorial. Otherwise, it may not work 100% fine. Although I would recommend installing Arise on a custom ROM, some people may prefer a stock feature. In that case, I have a tutorial on how to reflash a firmware without wiping on your Galaxy S8 or S8 Plus. Check it out in the card section. If you have any questions regarding something you didn't understand before or after the installation procedure, don't hesitate to ask me in the comment section and I will reply it as soon as possible. Finally, we're ready to flash Arise Magnum Opus. Reboot into TWRP. I recommend you to do an Android backup before flashing anything. If something goes wrong, then you can easily restore it back like nothing happened. Then go to install and select the Arise Magnum Opus. After you swipe to install, on the screen there will be some information displayed and at the end TWRP will give you an error 1 ending the installation procedure. Don't worry, it is perfectly normal. The error 1 encounter because the installation package couldn't find the Arise underlying customized profile I told you to delete a couple of moments ago. The installation procedure placed the new updated Arise underline customized prop on your internal storage. This file is a crucial file for the installation to work. That's why I told you to delete it before so that you can start a clean installation with me and watch the tutorial alongside with no problems. All you have to do now is to reboot your device. Then download a file manager which can handle file editing. I went for root explorer since it's the app I use the most when it comes to this type of stuff. The thing is that you'll need to edit the Arise underline customized prop I told you about. If you can't find any file editing software, you can easily connect your phone to your computer and edit the file located onto your internal storage with notepad. Save it and you'll be fine. So, open up Arise underline customized prop and I advise you to read every single line before attempting to edit anything. A little bit of knowledge of what you're doing won't be bad at all. So after you read it, we'll get into the line where it says start. You'll have to edit and write the keyword true after the equal sign after install.core. Now if you have magic root on your device, write true also after install magic compatibility. If you have SuperSU root, leave it blank. Into the next lines, you'll write through after every sound app module you want to be installed on your device. Maybe you want Dirac, maybe you want Archimedes, it's up to you. What if you already have some modules installed and you want to update your library with others? Write through for the ones you want to be installed, but make sure you leave the install.core blank since you already had it installed. This kind of information you can find by reading that file by yourself. Make sure you save that file after you edit it. 
then boot again into TWRP, go to install and this time when you select Arise Magnum Opus, the installation won't give you any errors because it is installing the sound modules based on your preferences. After the installation process is completed, reboot your device. And that's it. You can search in your app drawer for your selected sound modules. I placed Viper for Arise and Dolby Atmos on my home screen so that I can access them easier. Viper for Arise is so nicely themed in a black color with some red accents, damn it's so sexy. You can start playing with every settings to see what they do. I recommend using your headphones because that's where all the magic will come from. If you have no experience or simply don't want to play with the settings by yourself, you can apply one of the hundreds audio modules available into the Viper for Arise app. If you're using Power Amp Music Player, make sure you disable direct volume control into audio slash advanced tweaks because that may interfere with the sound mods. That was pretty much it for this tutorial. I hope I helped you and the rise is working flawlessly on your device. If you like my video, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel for more awesome tutorials. Until next time, as always, take care. Wicked is out. Bye bye.